السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good morning Today I'm going to talk about uh, genus uh, molecules genus molecules or what is called cell wall defective bacteria cell wall defective bacteria this genus this genus contain about 200 species 200 species but only 16 16 of them but only 16 of them thought to be a human origin a human origin thought to be human origin there are four medically important there are four medically important species belong this genus four medically important belong genus molecules included mycoplasma pneumonia which causes a typical pneumonia which causes a typical pneumonia bronchitis a typical pneumonia bronchitis and joint infections second one mycoplasma hominans mycoplasma hominans which causes post bartam fever post bartam fever and sometimes it is associated with lung disease in a premature baby so mycoplasma hominans cause post bartam fever and sometimes associated with uh, lung disease in a premature baby urea plasma urea lytica urea plasma urea lytica which causes non gonococcal urethritis urea plasma urea lytica which causes non gonococcal urethritis and the last species belong this genus called mycoplasma genitalium mycoplasma genitalium which causes genital infection genital infection so this genus contain four species this genus contain four species which is mycoplasma pneumonia mycoplasma hominans urea plasma urea lyticum and mycoplasma genitalium mycoplasma genitalium now what the most important what the most important character of this genus this is an important point i know part jiddan muhimme bil mcq put in your mind this is an important point in mcq now what the general characteristic general characteristic of this genus of this genus all species of genus molecules cell wall defective bacteria cell wall defective bacteria that's mean this bacteria not surrounded by cell wall in other words this bacteria absent of cell wall absent of cell wall and as a result to this point that's mean this bacteria highly biliomorphic in shape highly biliomorphic in shape highly biliomorphic in shape highly biliomorphic and also it is resistant to penicillin resistant to penicillin لان احنا كنا نعرف انه البنسلين and it is derivative act act by inhibition cell wall synthesis cell wall synthesis فاذا ما موجود السيل وول هذا يعني انه هاي البكتيريا ريزيستنس للبنسلين and it is derivative so the drug of choice in case of mycoplasma pneumonia azithromycin or tetracycline azithromycin and tetracycline another important point in this bacteria 
this bacteria contain sterol in cytoplasmic membrane. That means this bacteria contain cholesterol, cholesterol or sterol in their structure, in their structure. And as we know, bacteria belong prokaryote and all prokaryote did not contain sterol except 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 mycoplasma except mycoplasma mycoplasma only a prokaryote contain sterol in their structure in their structure another important point this bacteria cultivated cultivated by special media contain complex nutritional requirement so mycoplasma species can be cultivated in laboratory uh, asbestos by a special media this media contain complex nutritional requirement and it's this bacteria have a ability to uh, 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 embedded itself beneath the surface of media and give an appearance called fried egg fried egg fried egg fried egg fried egg تشبه البيضة المقلية عند نموها على الوسط الزرعي الخاص بها الخاص بها الخاص بها هاي البكتيريا هاي البكتيريا هاي البكتيريا تعطي في الكاركتر يسموه فرايد ايج فرايد ايج البيضة المقلية فرايد ايج فرايد ايج اذا the most important character in this uh, uh, bacteria in this bacteria it is a small bacteria small bacteria absence of cell wall contain sterol in their structure resistant to penicillin and can be cultivated in special media give an appearance called fried egg fried egg fried egg so this is all character of this bacteria the first species the first species belong this genus mycoplasma pneumonia mycoplasma pneumonia the character of mycoplasma pneumonia at the same character of all species of all species that's mean mycoplasma pneumonia small contains sterol uh, resistant to penicillin give an appearance called uh, in, in a special media called the fried egg fried egg in addition to that mycoplasma pneumonia contain membrane bound protrusion membrane bound protrusion special structure called membrane bound protrusion this structure contain variety of a protein called p1 p13 p1 p13 which is a protrusion 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 bound protein protrusion bound the protein used in the attachment used in the attachment initiate attachment of mycoplasma pneumonia uh, in the uh, epithelial bronchial epithelial cell so this structure p1p13 used to initiate attachment of this bacteria into the bronchial epithelial cell bronchial epithelial cell in addition to that, this bacteria produce toxin called car toxin, car toxin, community associated respiratory distress syndrome toxin, car toxin. So mycoplasma pneumonia have uh, uh, protrusion, protrusion, membrane bound protrusion protein called P1P13 and it used in the initiate attachment of this bacteria into the bronchial uh, epithelial cell 
and also this bacteria produce as ADB ribosylation toxin. We had نحنا شنو هال ADB ribosylation toxin محاضرة الكورين بكتيريا محاضرة الكورين بكتيريا أيضا الكورين بكتيريا have ability to produce toxin called ADB ribosylation toxin. This bacteria also produce ADB ribosylation toxin called CARD toxin. Community associated respiratory diastasis syndrome toxin. When this toxin produced by this bacteria lead to a nuclear fragmentation, a nuclear vacuolization and fragmentation of bronchial epithelial cell, and as a result, desucumation occur in the bronchial tree, in the bronchial tree, uh, uh, which result to the inflammation of and causes a typical pneumonia, a typical pneumonia. Now, why the term a typical pneumonia? Why we are use this term, a typical pneumonia? A typical pneumonia, it means the causative agent of this pneumonia did not isolate it by using ordinary media by using ordinary media such as chocolate agar or blood agar this is the first point second the clinical manifestation of a typical pneumonia did not mimic did not resembling to clinical manifestation caused by streptococcus pneumonia caused by streptococcus pneumonia for example in a typical pneumonia absence of leukocytosis absence of leukocytosis absence of lupar consolidation lupar consolidation lupar consolidation lupar consolidation Absence of lupar consultation and also produce a dry cough or non productive cough. Non productive cough. It is sometimes a typical pneumonia called walking pneumonia. So, a typical pneumonia also called walking pneumonia because patients suffering from walking pneumonia did not require hospitalization. Hospitalization. For this reason, this bacteria causes uh, a disease called walking pneumonia or a typical pneumonia. A typical pneumonia. The treatment, as we mentioned above, <coughs> uh, this drug of choice in case of a typical pneumonia uh, is uh, azithromycin. Azithromycin and tetracycline and this slide show uh, fried egg colonies fried egg colonies uh, caused by uh, uh, mycoplasma pneumonia fried egg colony caused by mycoplasma pneumonia and thank you any question